this Seiko is an absolute gem of a watch and could even be considered of grand Seiko level quality. But is this true? In today's video, I will be reviewing the Seiko Sari 057, which is an elegant timepiece from Seiko's Brassage line. I will also be comparing it with the Scrand Seiko SBGR309, which is a staple automatic watch from their heritage collection. If you are a big Seiko fan and enjoy watch reviews, please consider subscribing to this growing YouTube channel of mine where I will provide you with more similar related content. The Sari 057 comes in a modern and contemporary 41mm case which is pretty much perfect for most wrist sizes. The level of finishing on the case is very good and is even almost comparable to the Grand Seiko. This is because they have the same lug design and pretty much the same case shape. But we can all still agree that the Grand Seiko still has a superior standard of care as the lines and edges are more defined and luxurious. The Sari 057 is also only 11.4 millimeters thick, which is fairly thin for an automatic Seiko watch. This means it will fit nicely on the wrist and won't look too chunky. It is also more thin and smaller than the Grand Seiko as the higher end model comes in at a more chunky 13.1 millimeters and has a larger case size of 42 millimeters. The lug width on the Seiko is also a convenient 22 millimeters wide, which is great for those who have a lot of extra bands and is an absolute strap monster. Its level of versatility is helped by the elegant case and lugs. However, it's also due to that classic black dial. With a simple black backdrop, the hour markers, hands and other details do all of the talking. On the outside of the dial is a very fine millimeter counter, which measures every second millimeter. This is very nicely achieved and makes it feel more luxurious. It is also very useful for those who want to measure more exact times. The hour markers are applied and stand out on the dial very well. This is due to its high polished finish and that it also has a two-tone design. Making the piece more refined and sophisticated are the second, minute and hour hands. They provide a very sharp feel and complement the rest of the case quite nicely. The automatic text written in cursive on the bottom of the dial also adds to the Seiko's charm and class. One thing I don't like about the dial is the inclusion of a day-day complication. Yes, it'd be very handy from a tool watch and everyday perspective. However, in regards to its design, it just looks out of place. Even just the date would be enough to enhance the dial's quality. Compared to the Grand Seiko, the dial looks very similar. However, the higher end model has a way better level of finishing. The more basic hour markers and outer ring design makes this piece more versatile and more simple. This means it can be used on a much wider range of straps. But once again, the Grand Seiko also has a very annoying lug measurement coming in at 21 millimeters. This means it'll be quite hard to find matching straps. Now, if we refer back to the Seiko, under the dial is a decent quality in-house movement. The Sari 057 has featured a full R36 in-house caliber. Its specifications fairly a pretty average 40 hours of power reserve, which beats to around 21,600 vibrations per hour. It does, however, include a hackable function and the day-date complication. Additionally, the Seiko standard accuracy is featured on this piece with an average of plus minus 40 seconds per day. This is fairly inferior to the Grand Seiko's movement, which is much, much better. The SBGR features a beautifully made 9S68 in-house caliber. It has a far more improved accuracy rating of only plus minus four seconds per day and has a pretty beefy 72 hours of power reserve. Plus, it has been decorated to perfection, which is visible through the see-through case back. The normal Seiko also has a see-through case back, yet it is not as decorated as a Grand Seiko and is designed more for functionality and build quality. Some additional specifications include a fairly good quality stainless steel bracelet, which is better than the most of the ones you'd find on your standard Seiko 5 diver. It is also nice to see that both the Seiko and Grand Seiko feature a reliable 100 meters of water resistance. This means that both can be used as great everyday pieces and are perfect sport watches for the pool. The Seiko also has a good sapphire crystal, which is a lot better than the standard Harlex crystal used on most Seiko models. This elegant everyday piece from Seiko is a beauty of a watch and shares some similar characteristics to the Grand Seiko. Additionally, the price for the Sari 057 ranges from around $500 to $1,000. 
Click the videos on the screen right now to see more awesome Seiko watch related content from this channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see similar style content, please consider subscribing to this growing YouTube channel of mine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.